Hey guys, Mario Martinez here. Welcome to Raw and Unfiltered episode number five. Okay, so this week I was out teaching hundreds of sales reps uh, how to properly brand themselves. And a couple of questions came up that surrounded how do I, uh, how is the SSI, LinkedIn Social Selling Index Score calculated? Uh, and so we're gonna do a couple part series uh, of videos or a, a couple of series of videos. How about that? A couple of series of videos that go over the different segments of how your SSI is calculated. First part, let's talk about how the first part is calculated. Now that first part is creating a professional brand. That's uh, part uh, one of four to calculate your social selling index score as um, given by LinkedIn. How do you increase uh, the SSI component, the score, 25 points of 100, how do you increase that to um, 25 points? Couple things you gotta do. Number one, they give you points based upon how complete your profile is. So that's the first thing you gotta be thinking about. Number two, this is very important. Do you have multimedia that is embedded into your profile? into your summary, into your experience section, into your publications, into your project section. Super critical you have that. And especially because this week, uh, here in July, LinkedIn released the new capability on your mobile device to be able to actually view someone's multimedia. So important that you get multimedia onto your uh, LinkedIn profile. If you don't know what I mean, just look at my profile, Mario Martinez Jr., and look at it on your mobile device. Click on my summary, then click on my experience section and watch what happens. Okay. The next thing you gotta do to be able to create a professional brand and raise that score to 25 points is you need to make sure <clears throat> that you have all of your skills and endorsement sections uh, section filled out. You get up to 50 skills and endorsements that is get, that, that uh, LinkedIn allows you to be able to have. And if you don't fill in that section, LinkedIn will start automatically doing it for you. So, fill it in and then hopefully, interact, socially engage with your network so that they're actually endorsing you and that you are endorsing others, okay? That's very important. The last piece of how you create your professional brand and raise that portion of your SSI score is uh, uh, the one, the last piece you wanna be thinking about is uh, using long form posts and then creating followers as a result of the content that you're driving. So if you're below 25 points, uh, the, the, you get a total score of 25 points for creating professional brand, one of four segments uh, for your SSI. If you're below and you're missing any one of those elements I just referenced, then do those things and your score will begin to jump up uh, and hopefully up to 25 points. So in review, how complete is your profile? Make sure you got that little blue circle on the far right hand side of your screen that shows all star um, uh, profile. I have seen it once before, just once, that someone actually had a yellow bubble and it was expert, it's really cool. Then the other thing you wanna do is just have multimedia on your profile. Make sure you have a profile picture as well as a banner. And uh, give endorsements and get endorsements. Make sure you have that skills and endorsements area filled out. And then the last and final thing is uh, publish long form blog posts using the publishing platform on LinkedIn and uh, attempt to uh, drive your follow drive followers and drive connections from that. All right, that's your raw and unfiltered episode number five for today. Hope that helps. Uh, look for part two, three, and four of how uh, is SSI calculated. Mario Martinez, talk to you later. Out.